Speaking of Star Wars parodies, I don't know if anyone's heard of this yet. A Spaceball sequel is in development at Amazon with Josh Gad starring Mel Books producing. Honestly, what would the plot be? I don't even know at this point. To be honest, I'm not very thrilled about Josh Gad. I'm not a huge fan of his. Is he like a huge comedian? I mean, Mel Brooks, that's great. Love him. Honestly, this would only have been good. I would only have loved this idea if this was gonna be Rick Moranis's big return to Hollywood. If this headline read, Spaceballs 2 or Spaceballs sequel, search for more money, with Rick Moranis starring, then oh, I would totally be into it. Yes, yes. But Josh Gad, I'm sorry, that's not gonna, eh. Spaceballs, the search for more money, yep. It's literally coming true. <laughs> that better be what it's called. So let's see. A Spaceball sequel is in development at Amazon at MGM Studios. Josh Gad is set to star will produce alongside Mel Brooks. Let's see. Josh Greenbaum will direct the film from a screenplay by Benji Samet, Dan Hernandez, and Gad. While Kevin Salter will executive produce. Project is in early stages and plot details are being kept under wraps. Amazon declined to comment. I feel like Star Wars is a parody of itself already. <laughs> I don't know. And, and like I said, I don't think any of this would work without Rick Moranis. You gotta have Dark Helmet. Is he just not willing to return to acting at all anymore? Man, he was so good. He's in so many good films that I loved in the 80s at that time. Ugh. He should have been in Ghostbusters. I don't think they should have done it, a, a new Ghostbusters without him. They're just bringing in like, these other people like Paul Rudd and Pat Oswalt. I feel like if you don't have him on board, then no, this won't work. <laughs> you can't have it without him. Mel Brooks has kind of lost his touch. He wrote every episode of the Spaceballs animated series and those were a major disappointment. But yeah, I don't know how much of his work is gonna be a part of this. I'm pretty sure it's just Josh Gad's gonna be the predominant producer and writer of this. He did another thing too. Didn't they make a sequel of the history of the world? That wasn't my favorite of his work. But yeah, they did a sequel to that recently, I believe. And I don't know how that was received. I, I didn't watch it, but yeah, I had a bunch of like new recent comedians that were a part of it, but I don't remember anyone gushing about it, so. I'm not looking forward to it. Honestly, I think it's a bad idea unless it marks Rick Moranis' grand return to acting, but it will have Rick Moranis in it. Gad posted a photo of his phone log with a caption, big things happening, and it had a call from Rick Moranis on the log. Oh, well, okay. That should definitely have been announced. I'm telling you, if he put that out there, I don't follow Gad, so I don't know. I don't follow celebrities, but why did no one else cover that? That definitely should have been like, announce that from the treetops. Announce that as loud as you possibly can. Get that out there because honestly, I don't think anyone's excited about it. If Dark Helmet's returning, then yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Josh Gad was working on a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids reboot and Moranis had agreed to come back, but the project fell through. What, was he supposed to star in it? Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, it still works today. You don't need to reboot it. It's a great film as is. Now I can see films that maybe like were more cult classics that weren't well received initially uh, upon release either critically or commercially i could see like remaking those i think there'd be more of a case to reboot something that wasn't well received initially i think if you revamp it and rework it i think that could work 